knee as close to the opposite elbow as possible and keep your core engaged. Keep going guys, you can do this Interesting, a little bit challenging, but I had my tips and tricks. A journal throughout the entire process of the Chloe things workout so I want to read the journal to you guys I'm not going to waste your time and I think it's very very essential especially if you want to try the workout out basically for the day one all I was saying is I moved at my own pace so most of them some were easy to do and some I had to go with the 
when she's doing the workout you see alongside when she's doing the workout there are simple variations she kept so some of them were too, that was too hard for me to get along with i went with the simple variations she kept and i had a lot of rest like the places she gave rest like 15 seconds rest between each set i would go like one pause the video go like one minute rest drink water catch my breath before i continue this is very essential because you don't have the same fitness level with chlorithin okay so you want to move at your own pace so for for day two i did the first workout nice and easy did it well um for day two i i improved overall but not significantly i was still moving at my own pace doing the simple once for those that were so hard for me the three i did it my entire energy was like 60 percent so there was improvement every day this time i couldn't finish the planks course the weight on my wrist and my knee was very very painful the workout started to affect my wrist and my ankles and my knee because i guess because I, i'm overweight and all of that I, i'm like really heavy so if you, you are somebody that is not weighty it may not affect you so i wasn't taking the plank seriously i would just go like half of the time she was doing it because it's very important you put, protect your your joints you protect yourself like exercise is not the end of the world so i was doing it in every lazy way possible on the first fourth day guys i slept i woke up and i couldn't get up from the bed i felt like my energy was zapped my energy was missing like it was very horrible i was so weak i could i could only talk i couldn't even move my hand but not, not so bad but i just felt like somebody that had run a marathon a day before and i was exhausted my body was like really complaining so on the day on the day five i skipped the workout completely i did not do it i had to listen to my body and just take a rest on day six i was very strong as i took that rest on day five by day six i was very very strong i did the first set with no breaks at all i still had issues with com com completing the planks because i told you my ankles they were my wrists they were really hurting and my ankles they were, they were they were really hurting but from day seven to day 14 it every day it became so easy it got to a point i would do the entire workout with her there was no rest no breaks or anything it was getting more fun over time you get used to it but will i do this workout again mm -mm 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 -mm. it was just too stressful and it, it was just too stressful it's not for me but i'm planning to try her abs workout and her arms workout to see how that goes because i'm still trying to lose lots of weight and you can see i really lost lost a ton of weight so another thing i want to point out is if you want to lose weight and you want to do this exercise and really see results don't rely on the exercise alone you know you to be serious minded you have to watch your diet um watch what you eat for the exercise to really show for my case i was doing intermittent fasting you guys know i'm an intermittent faster so i'll have my first meal of the day by 12 and by 6 i'm done eating for the day you could do whatever works for you but this worked for me if you want to do intermittent fasting i have a full video on it i think i'm going to link that video in the card somewhere here so yeah that's basically what i was doing for the intermittent for with intermittent fasting but i wasn't eating like oh healthy must be eggs and veggies no i was just doing intermittent fasting and doing the workout and i was trying to eat smaller portions and i cut out um you know i cut out processed food junks and all of that and calorie drinks all those carbonated drinks i cut them out completely I was eating home cooked meal but i was not restricting myself if i want to eat rice i go for rice if i want to eat this i go for that so far it was it's home cooked it's a meal that was cooked at home so i go for it 
so that's basically everything I, 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 I was doing so I'll continue to be sharing my fitness and workout and weight loss journey because I'm on a really really strict journey this year and I'm going to share every single one of it with you guys every week so make sure that you are subscribed if you are not subscribed already like the video so that I know you guys like content like this if you think there's anything I didn't cover leave your comments in the comment section and I'll be sure to reply that comment also I have a vlog channel now if you don't know Yemi Abiodun's life. I'm going to link it in the description box or you could just search on YouTube Yemi Abiodun's life and go follow me there. I am always on that channel when I'm not here so you see my behind the scenes and all of that. If you are not following me on Instagram, please follow your girl on Instagram and also just a reminder again, I'll be hosting a WhatsApp video one-on-one -on -one video call or chat section between the 15th and the 17th of february 2021 and to enroll in this and to enroll for it is just ten dollars i'm going to leave the link in the description box and in the comment section and i'll schedule you on the date we are going to have our one-on-one -on -one. and until next time guys bye